All right, guys, this is gonna be a quick video about two of my favorite DJI analog adapters. Uh, those are my favorite because they are very simple to put in. The installation is very simple. They are pretty much add-on. They don't require you to do any soldering. Uh, you just put them in and plug in the different uh, wires that come with it and you are done. Uh, the first option, it's I already made a video about this one. It's a little guy. It's the UR UAV. It's been out for a couple months and it only costs about 11 to 12 bucks, depending on where you're getting it. Uh, this is an older version. There is actually two more versions that came out after I posted my video. Uh, so let's just call this one version one. Uh, the main difference between version one and version two and three are that version two and three do have a power switch which gives you the option to either power on your DJI Gago or power on your DJI Gago and the adapter. So it's pretty neat because with the version one right now, if I'm not planning on using uh, analog, I have to take the module off the adapter. Uh, I can't just keep the module on the adapter, but I'm gonna be pouring, pouring on both the Gago and the module. Uh, very nice unit, uh, I like it. I have no issue with it, I uh, perform pretty well. And also, if you're gonna be getting one of those, my advice is gonna be to make sure to get a case for it. Uh, there is a bunch of uh, 3D printed case on Thingiverse. You can just go on Thingiverse and get one of the files if you do have a 3D printer. If you don't have one, you can buy one off of one of the major retailers. Uh, they also cost about, depending on where you get them, you can get the 3D printed case from three to 12 bucks. So depending on where you're getting them. Another one I actually like that I saw on Get FPV is an aluminum case for your adapter. It's very nice and that one costs 14 bucks. The reason you just need the case is to make sure your adapter and your module are secure in place because if you don't use the case, the only thing you have to keep your module in place are those pins, so that's how it goes. And in my case, what I end up doing is, since I didn't use the case, is that I use some double-sided tape on those two little rectangle here and I put in my module and kind of press on it so the double side tape has kind of keep it in place another thing you need the case for is also to keep your face plate in place on mine since i didn't use the case what i end up doing is i end up using those uh antenna screw and i use both of them here to keep the plates uh, attached to the module but you know, if you don't want to get the case, uh, you can do what I can do. Just use the uh, the little screw on the antenna connector, and just use the double side tape. That should work pretty good. It worked good for me for a couple of months. And of course, the other option is the BG adapter. It's been out for a couple of weeks now. Uh, this one is about sixty bucks, so it's pretty much double the price of this setup but it's a nice setup, everything is included, it's in one package. On one side, you do have the PCB board for your uh, big, uh, fat track module, and on the side, you got your power, power board, and you also have two auxiliary channel plugs. The one, you got one for your video, and you have another one for your audio, in, so you can plug in your headphone on this side if you wanna listen to your quad when you're flying. A uh, very good unit, I uh, like the way it is made and very simple to put in and let me go ahead and put it on and before I do that, it does come with two wires you got your battery wire which is a split, uh, split wire and you got your video cable very simple and uh, let me put it on and uh, you see how it look like so to put on the DJ adapter, you just need to take your faceplate off of your DJ Gago. And the faceplate is sitting in place, straightforward, it's a perfect fit. 
and just put the screw back in and that's all you have to do to get the DG adapter on your gago uh, next thing to do is you just plug in your wires or cables that your batteries goes right here and your video wire go on top the other plug is for your earphone and that goes straight in an auxiliary plug on your DJI gago and the other one go on where your battery cable usually go so you do have a little extra bunch of extra wire kind of hanging in here and what I'm going to do is try to see if I can, I can get everything on a zip tie yeah that should work mm, so I, I had some zip tied on the side so kind of keep the the wire in place it's actually not too tight so it has a little bit of play and uh, that is pretty much all you have to do guys i'm just gonna go ahead and plug in uh, the mojo and plug in the face plate and that is it for the installation everything is all done installation is pretty simple pretty easy to do so i hope that you enjoy the video guys thanks for watching